Peppa cannot wait to tell everyone her news. Mummy, Daddy, George! Hello, Peppa. Hello, Peppa. Granny and Grandpa. The house is just ahead. Let's keep walking this way. Parents' house. This is my granny and grandpa's house. Grandpa is always in his garden, and granny takes care of the chickens. This is granny and grandpa Pig's house. Pepper always has a great time here. Mr. Bull, what is going on here? Hello, family! Hello, children! We are in the middle of doing some repairs on this road. What happened to the old road? There were some bumps caused by the tree's roots nearby, which made it dangerous to drive. Hello, Mr. Bull. What's going on here? Hello, family. Hello, children. We are in the middle of doing some repairs on this road. What happened to the old road? There were some bumps caused by the tree's roots nearby, which made it dangerous to drive through. Not to worry. Mr. Rhinoceros and I will take care of it. I'm sure you're very busy. We'd better be on our way. Hmm. Is there a way to go through? Oh, yes! You can drive right by the road. Be careful. Oh, I see. Thank you. Goodbye, Mr. Bull. Goodbye, Mr. Rhinoceros. Thank you for fixing the road. Have arrived at the playgroup, a 
place to learn and play with Pepper and her friends. Quite that old, George. Dinosaur. I think I would make a great queen. I would sit around all day and eat all <laughs> the ice cream I wanted. It appears that you and Pepper are now royalty, and you can have anything you ask for. Is there anything you would like, Your Majesties? Yes. We want ice creams, please. Of course, Queen Pepper. Mmm. This ice cream <laughs> is delicious. <laughs> More, please. <laughs> I like being a queen. <laughs> I'm sure you would make a great Queen Pepper. George, it's a real dinosaur. One that lived many, many years ago. <laughs> dinosaur. Are you with us, George? Dinosaur! It seems that George has found his favourite room. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, welcome. Are you here to join me on the trip to the moon? Jump aboard the rocket train. Mr. Rabbit is the tour guide. He knows a lot about the universe. Are we really going to the moon? No, Pepper. It's just pretend. That's right, Pepper. It's just a pretend moon. Now, all passengers, hold on tight to your seats. We're about to take off. Three, two, one, blast off! All right then, does anybody know what these things hanging from the ceiling are? Are they planets? Precisely. And do you know the name of the planets? Oh, um, not really. Oh, I know one, the Earth! Very good, Daddy Pig. This is the Earth, we also have Venus. Mars, Neptune. What's that? Ah, this is a satellite. Satellites fly around the world so we can have TVs and the internet. Really? But how do they do that? It's all magic. And we've reached the end. Please exit the rocket and continue to the next room where you'll see the moon. Welcome to the moon. Gravity on the moon is much weaker, so we can jump much higher. Ooh. The moon.
moon has less gravity than the Earth, which means you'd feel lighter and be able to jump higher. Whee! Try it out. Strap in and jump up. It's a wonderful day to get some good views from up in the hot air balloon. Yes, please! Pepper's house. Back home. Oh my, there's rubbish everywhere. Perhaps you should help Pepper clean the forest. Oh no! There's rubbish on the ground. We should put it in the rubbish bin. Got one! Well done. If we all do our part, it's easy to keep the forest clean. Thank you. 
a bird. Come to have a lovely picnic in the forest. <laughs> what a wonderful day to have a picnic in the forest. Come on, let's find a nice spot to sit down and have lunch. How about we go that way? This place seems about right, doesn't it? Can I have the basket, Daddy Pig? Oh, um, yes, of course. What's wrong, Daddy Pig? Your face has gone very red. I, um, I think I have left the picnic basket in the car. Oh, no. We will have to go and get it then. Perhaps you and Peppa could head back to the car and bring the basket. Of course, Mummy. We'll be back in no time. Daddy Pig has left the picnic basket in the car. They need you to go back and get it for them. Let's go back to the car and get the picnic basket. Thank you, you two. Let's all take a seat now. Whoops! I guess I'm a bit hungry. <laughs> Good job. You brought the picnic basket back. And now Peppa's family can enjoy a delicious lunch in the forest. This goes here, this goes there, and voila! <laughs> These sandwiches are delicious, Daddy Pig. Yes, Daddy. Why, thank you. How about you? Do you like them? <laughs> what was that? Ducks! What are you doing here? Are you hungry too? <laughs> Mummy, can we give them some food? We could, but it seems there's only Daddy's sandwich left. Oh. Give them some food. Oh, all right. There you go, ducks. I'm full. Well, at least someone is. <laughs> oh, Daddy, you're always a bit full. <laughs> <laughs> What a lovely spot for camping. Ah, Peppa, I see you and your friend are already here. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Hello Peppa. Peppa. Hello, Hello Peppa's, Peppa's friend. friend. Hello, everybody. Children, children, now that we're here, you need to pitch your tents. And we need someone to collect sticks for the campfire. We'll do it, Madame Gazelle. We'll collect the sticks. Madame Gazelle has asked you to collect sticks so she can build a campfire. Follow Pepper and help her get enough sticks for the campfire. Sticks, sticks, sticks. We need to collect lots of sticks. Got one. I need a few more sticks. 
Would you get them for me? It's a wonderful day to get some good views from up in the hot air balloon. Yes, please! wants to build a snowman. You will find all the parts you need in the snow. These will be good for you. Be careful. Don't go down the hill too fast. Have fun. I'm right behind you. <laughs> It's a wonderful day to get some good views from up in the hot air balloon. Yes, please!
Peppa's house. Back home. This is my daddy. Why don't we say hello to him? Hello, Peppa. I see you have a new friend. What are you doing, George? Dinosaur! <sighs> <laughs> it was very nice of you to clean up the forest like you did. Pepper, you and your friend have been very busy, haven't you? We've heard you've been helping people around the town. Yes! My friend is very helpful! I see. Well, so are you, Pepper. And because you've been so good, we've decided to take you both to Potato City. I love Potato City! Oh, Potato City, here we come. Daddy Pig? Didn't you get a bit dizzy last time you got on the potato rocket? Yes. Well, I'm sure it won't happen this time. <laughs> Daddy Pig, you never learn. Potato City is a magical place full of exciting things where Mr. Potato himself will teach you the importance of vegetables. Go to the car when you're ready and we'll be on our way. Potato City, the place to explore and have fun and learn about the importance of vegetables. Hooray! Ah, we're finally here. It's bigger than I remembered. Hello and welcome to Potato City. Have you come to have fun? Yes, yes. Have you come to explore? Yes, yes. You come to learn about the importance of eating fruit and vegetables at least five times a day. Um, yes. Fantastic! Then you are going to have a lot of fun. Remember to visit the whole park. There are plenty of things to do and plenty of things to see. All right then, run along children, have fun. I think I'll skip this one. Okay. Ready? Here we go! Again, again! 
I'll definitely skip the second round. Pepper's house. Back home. Parents' house. This is my granny and grandpa's house. Grandpa is always in his garden, and granny takes care of the chickens. This is granny and grandpa Pig's house. Pepper always has a great time here. Polly Parrot imitates everything you do. Why don't you try jumping or making a sound? It seems Granny's chickens have left their coop. Why don't you help her by bringing all of the chickens back? One chicken missing. Peppa! Hello, Peppa's friend! Hello, Granny! 
Grandpa? Peppa, I think we're going to get hungry while we wait for the vegetables to grow. Would you like to have a meal? Mm, yes, please. Splendid. Then why don't you go fetch some eggs from Granny Pig's coop and bring them to the kitchen? Okay. Grandpa Pig wants you to get some eggs from the chicken coop and take them to the kitchen so he and Granny Pig can cook you a meal. First, let's go to the chicken coop. This way. Hello, children. Hello, Granny. Have you come to check on the chickens? No, no, Granny. Grandpa has sent us to get eggs so we can cook a yummy meal. I see. Pig in the garden. Let's go this way. Would you like to go to the beach? Grandpa could take us in his car. to him. What are you doing, George? Dinosaur! <laughs> Daddy! Daddy! We're having lots of fun! That's great, Pepper! Hmm. Peppa, you and your friend have been very busy, haven't you? We've heard you've been helping people around the town. Yes! My friend is very helpful! I see. Well, so are you, Peppa. And because you've been so good, we've decided to take you both to Potato City. I love Potato City! Oh, Potato City, here we come. Daddy Pig, didn't you get a bit dizzy last time you got on the potato rocket? Yes. Well, I'm sure it won't happen this time. <laughs> Daddy Pig, you never learn. Potato City is a magical place full of exciting things where Mr. Potato himself will teach you the importance of vegetables. Go to the car when you're ready and we'll be on our way. Potato City, the place to explore and have fun and learn about the importance of vegetables. Hooray! Ah, we're finally here. It's bigger than I remembered. Hello and welcome to Potato City. Have you come to have fun? Yes, yes. Have you come to explore? Yes, yes! Have you come to learn about the importance of eating fruit and vegetables at least five times a day? Um, yes, 
fantastic! Then you are going to have a lot of fun! Remember to visit the whole park! There are plenty of things to do and plenty of things to see! All right then, run along children, have fun! Like Mr. Potato, Pepper does. Let's play with this. <laughs> Mr. Potato, here's the power of vegetables. Have you been to Potato City? I really want to go. <laughs> Mummy Pig, have you seen my glasses? I can't find them anywhere. I don't think I have, Daddy Pig. Peppa, why don't you and your new friend look for Daddy Pig's glasses? They have to be somewhere around the house. Yes, yes, Mummy! We will find the glasses! <laughs> That's great, Pepper. Thank you. And thank you. You are a great friend to Pepper. <laughs> 